hello service now experts so today in this video i'll explain you how can we push records into uh, how can we convert service now records into xml or uh, excel or csv or json file and how can we push that same file to service now mid server okay so so in this video we'll uh, discuss about service now out of the box functionality called export set and but we'll not write any code for this we we'll expl explicitly use the out of the box export set module okay so if you search your export set you can see in the filter navigator if you search export set you will see this module called ex system export set okay if you are not able to view this module then you can activate this plugin called basic export set functionality if you will activate this plugin this will start up uh, populating for you so here if we see if i'll mention any file name sorry i'll mention any table name with certain filter criteria and what are the fields needs to be uh, exported if i'll mention those things then once the moment i'll execute the code i'll execute the job it will push the file from service now it will generate a file and it will push into the service now sorry service now mid server okay if i'll show you the mid server so this is one mid server inside the agent file if you so see here there is a one folder called export so whenever you will implement that particular whenever you will be using that particular uh, module so always the export data will come inside this particular folder okay so i'll show you so you can see i have already tried with one test record so here to create a export record you have to come here you have to click this export sets before going to the export set you should have a export definition and export target i'll open export definition and export target and if i'll open this export definition here nothing but we have to pass what is the table name and what are the fields needs to be exported and what is the filter criteria okay here you can add multiple fields so i have added here for all, mm -hmm. it has to send all the incident data with uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 fields so all these 12 fields will be exported wherever the incident is active all those list of incident it will convert into the file and it will send to mid server so before that it will ask you what is the exact location you want to add so here this export target is nothing but to give you the location what is the mid server in the drop down you can see there are two mid server i have picked this one it will only show you all the mid server which is up and running it will not show you all the uh, whatever mid server is down those will not come under this okay if you will pick any of the mid server and here you have to give the file path so file path as i mentioned the basic path will be this okay so till export this will be the basic path inside this suppose you want to create multiple folder so here you can see we don't have any folder right i'll mention here one folder name slash uh, pradi slash incident okay i'll give something like this i'll right click i'll save okay let's try i'll come here I'll go to this export set so here i have created one export set here you have to give the name of the export set and automatically whatever name will give this file name will also pop populate automatically but if you want you can change it and here you have to mention the format csv excel xml or json what you want to send and here the maximum rows is uh, 10000 so here also you can change the value and there is a two more extra field is there one is column header and column values this column value is nothing but whether you want to send the display value or the raw value suppose you are having some reference field cc user which is referring to cc user like the caller field here in the incident table that is referring to cc user if you want to pass the cc id then you have to mention here the raw value if you want to pass the display one then you have to pick the display one but it is not specific for a single column so whatever you will mention it will be applicable for whole records suppose you are having multiple reference field you can't have one for display value one for raw one okay so and this is one more is called column header so here it will be utilizing your column headers as a header 
or you have to uh, mention a field name okay so if you create any field any column in service now there will be two columns one is label one is name so which one you want to use so here you can see this is one field right so it is one it is having two name one is name one is label sorry one this is the label and this is the name so which one you want to use as a header that one also you can mention here here you can add the uh, timestamp as well this timestamp is nothing but it will convert to epoch time and it will concatenate with your this particular value this particular file name okay now let's execute this so i'll first execute this for 20 records i'll click on this 20 records let's see okay so once the record got executed if i'll scroll down here it will show you the history whether it is success or not if i'll go here you can see already one prady folder got created incident folder got created and this one excel also got created this is how it will work and also you can schedule this one you can schedule exports here you can click on new and you can schedule any exports it's kind of the schedule job okay i hope uh, you learned something new on this by using this export set let's try this out thanks for watching